In this particular lecture, let's learn how we could style React components using CSS modules. So in the previous lecture, we have already learned how to make use of CSS style sheets and that approach was quite simple. But there are a couple of problems with using CSS style sheets and let's understand those problems so that you understand the importance of using CSS modules. So right now we have this inline component and we have this style.css file and we have imported this style.css over here and we have used the header class which we have up over here to style this h1 element in here which is all fine and good. But what if you have one more component and you want to use the same header class over there as well. So let's see how exactly we could do that. So right now I'll create a new component and I'll call this thing as let's say outline component. So this is just a dummy name. So outline component dot gsx. All right. So here I would say export default function outline component. And I'll simply make this thing return a div. And within this div, I'll have another h1 here. And I would say this is an outline component. All right. So this component looks exactly the same one as this inline component, which we have. And now let's add the outline components to the app, which we have up over here. So here we have added the inline component. Let's also add the outline component as well. So remember that their names are not significant here. We are just using some contrary names just to showcase a problem. So right now, if I have an outline component, I could go ahead and I could say something like, okay, I want to style this thing with the CSS, which is defined here, which is this header. So I again have to import that first. So I could say, I want to import the CSS file. So I have to go to directories back in the CSS folder and then import the style.css. All right. Now I can make use of this header class, which I have over here. So I could say the class name is going to be header. And now what happens is both of them actually get the same styling. But let's say, what if I actually want to style this thing in a different way? And if I want to style this thing in another way, now they are sharing the same styling because we are using the same header class right here. Now, one way to solve this is that I could create two classes. I could create one class as inline header, and I could create another class over here called as outline header. So I could say, inline header and over here I could say outline header and I could style this thing in a different way. So let's say I want the color of this thing to blue violet and let's say I want the background color of this thing to red instead of yellow. So now if I go back the styling on the components won't work because now I have to change the class names over here. So for the inline component I could say inline header and for the outline component I could say outline header. Now, if I go back, now both the components have different styling. And this is exactly what we wanted as well. But the problem here is that now we have to define two different classes here and you have to name these two headers separately. And that's actually a problem. And the problem is, what if you actually want to have the same name for both of them? That is, I don't want to use inline header and outline header. Instead, I simply want to use the same class name here, which is header, but still I want a different styling for these two components, which I have. So how exactly that could be achieved? So to achieve this, we could make use of CSS modules. So in this particular style sheet approach or CSS style sheet, we have a single style sheet for all the components which we have here. And the fundamental problem with that is, let's say you're working in a big company wherein multiple teams are working on different components all at the same time. And let's say if you're sharing the same style sheet, so in that case, what happens is, so let's say if some team member uses header as the class name, then the same styling will be applied to their component. And if you were to use the same name for your component as well, then the same styling would be applied to your component as well. But what if they want to define their own header class and if you want to define your own header class? This is what CSS module allows us to do. So whenever you're creating a CSS module for styling a component, you create a module for every single component which you have up over here. So now let's take an example and understand how exactly we could go ahead and make use of a CSS module. So let's create different CSS modules for these two components which we have. So let's create a CSS module for inline component first. So let's create a new file here 
And in order to create a CSS module, you simply have to create a new file, name it as inline component, which is the component name dot module dot CSS. And over here, you simply have to go ahead and add the CSS class, which you had defined inside here. So let's take this, copy this, and inside the inline component, I'll simply change this back to header. So I could call this header now. And now in a similar way, let's also create a CSS module for this outline component as well. So create a new file, outline component dot module dot CSS. And I could do the same thing here, which is I could go to the style sheet. I could make use of the styling here, copy this, go back to the outline module dot CSS and still have the same name, which is dot header. So we have a header class in this module. We also have a header class in this module as well, but these two are now defined in separate modules. All right. So now once you have the modules here, now you could go to the components to apply those stylings. So rather than importing the styling from CSS, uh, let me clean up everything here. And let's say right now the components do not have any styling. So this inline component right now is a simple component with no styling. Now, if I have to use the CSS module, I have to import that here. So in order to import that, I would say import styles. So I'll call that particular file as styles from, and I want to import the styles from the CSS module, which I have. So the CSS module, which I have is present in the current directory. So dot slash, that's going to be inline component dot module dot CSS. Now, once the styling is imported, I could simply add that styling to this H1. So I could say class name equals and over here, as we want to use the styles from this one, I have to make use of curly brackets here to write JavaScript code. So I would say styles dot and then I have to use the header which is defined here. So therefore, I will say styles dot header. Save this and if I go back here, as you can see, the styling will be applied to the first component. And if you want to make sure that the styling is not coming from the CSS, you could also go ahead and get rid of this entire folder itself as well. So let's move it to trash. And now let's style the outline component as well. So let's remove this import from CSS. So I'll get rid of this. Let's also get rid of this class name as well. So right now the outline component does not have any styling. So here, this is what an outline component looks like. Now let's import the styling defined in this outline component module, which we have. So over here, I will now import styles from dot slash outline component dot module dot CSS. And once I have imported that, I could simply add a class name to this one, which is styles dot header. Now, if I go back here, now, as you can see, the styling is applied to the other component as well. Now you'll be able to notice that if you compare the inline component and the outline component, both of them use style dot header, but still they have different styles. And that's because these components are importing their styles from different CSS modules. So this is how CSS modules allow you to define styles with the same class name, but yet have different styling for each components, which you have. So the major advantage of using a CSS module is that every component is going to have its own styling module. And whenever you want to style a particular component, instead of referring to a large CSS style sheet, now you could simply open up individual CSS module for that specific component and make changes over there. So once we know how to style react components from the next lecture onwards, let's make use of the CSS modules to style our to do list application. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.